must excuse this sudden visit. My sworn brother, Lu Bei, is in Xiao Pei, which has come under siege from Lu Bu's forces. I wish to request that you loan me some of your troops to repel Lu Bu. Hmm. So Lu Bu's finally making his move. He'd be better off staying in Sha Pi. There is merit in us eliminating Lu Bu from the equation. However, if we move now, Liu Biao may strike us from behind. Shunyo, tell me what you think. Lu Bu is currently the only active threat to us. Plus, there are no other forces that will go to his aid. We should take out Lu Bu before we face Yuan Shao. However, a siege will take time. If somebody else uses that opportunity to make their move, we'll be in trouble. In that case, how about this strategy? We dam the Ishui and Sushui rivers that run near Shapi, inundating the castle with water. That is a brilliant idea. We will channel the water into the castle at Shapi. We simply need to seize control of the floodgates to make it happen. Very well. We shall proceed with your plan. Begin making preparations for the flood attack. This is our best chance to slay the demon Lu Bu. I must re- It must have been difficult for him to break through Lu Bu's siege let alone make it all the way here. Yet now, he looks to do it all over again for his master's sake. He uses his considerable might to fight for what he believes to be just. He is truly worthy of the moniker, God of War. Huh. It was his actions that led to Lu Bu's rise in the first place. That's rather bitter of you, Shahodun. Although, I feel I could utilize him properly if he were under my employ. Don't you agree? You're still hanging on to that dream? He will never leave Liu Bei's side. You heard him yourself. No. I suppose not. However, it is clear that the lowly Liu Bei does not deserve a warrior such as Guan Yu. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guojia and I will be successful. indeed. Everyone, this is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good. They must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. I cannot allow that to come to pass. Not allow them to interfere with our strategy. I must hurry on ahead. It's about time we got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. Fortress does not stand a chance against our might. It's time to march. Let's go. The most impressive display of might. I shall do what I can to match it. Oh! <laughs> 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 
It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! You're finished! I cannot believe that I was bested. Even after giving it my all, you have earned my respect. I shall surrender to you quite. Excellent, Shao Master Guojia! We completely destroyed this buggy. Yes, that is wonderful news. You to dust. It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. Okay, that takes care of things here. Now, to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. <laughs> Things turned out nicely. Ah, that was an impressive effort. I enjoy just watching you out there. Understand. Oh, you plan on breaking the floodgates and thudding Shapi? I will never allow that! This is our best chance to kill Lu Bu. Therefore, I refuse to let anybody stand in our way. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. I can't believe it. I've dropped my guard. I have shamed my father's name. A water attack? A 
now petty. Fire arrows at the intruders from the ramparts. Unit regroups at once. Things turned out nicely. Your best. Now we can begin moving towards Shafi Castle. We will meet up with our allies on the front lines and slay the group. To those of you who support Lu Bu, know that to oppose me is to invite death upon yourselves. Despite all of his strength, he was unable to win the hearts of his retainers. With you officers on my side, the foundation for my ambition has been solidified. Now, throw open the gates and welcome your new ruler. <laughs> Things turned out nicely. Your abilities are true. We're surrounded. If we do not do something soon, we'll be swallowed whole by Lubu's army. I never thought I'd be coming to Liu Bei's rescue. However, Cao Cao's orders on the matter are clear. Losing ground to Cao Cao's forces! My name will mean nothing after this! What? Why is the gate opening? Cao Cao's forces! Attack! <laughs> That area. Ah, no! I've been defeated? You're joking! I am most grateful for your aid. Your appearance has saved our very lives. We can't afford to waste time here. We must press forward and capture Shabhi Castle. Everyone. 
everyone follow my lead. Let's go. The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. You're finished! We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. There's food there. Okay, boys, it's time to eat! We all know our target. It is only a matter of attacking it. I'll grind you to dust. We all know our target. It is only a matter of attacking it. We're advancing. Everyone follow my lead. I bet there's food there. Okay, boys, it's time to eat. We all know our target. It is only a matter of attacking it. You're finished. It's about time we got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. We're advancing. Everyone follow my lead. Your time's up. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! It's only a matter of attacking it! 
Someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Lu Bu. <laughs> someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. <laughs> then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? Huh. So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Cao Cao, Lu Bu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Uh, damn you, Liu Bei! Uh, uh! Farewell, Lu. Let your pride in me, the best, die with you here in Xiaopi. Uh! Master Cao Cao, you have my most profound gratitude for your aid. That was my best chance to finally slay Lu Bu. There is no need for you to thank me. That may be so, but I owe you a debt nonetheless. My word is my bond. Guan Yu, I wish to speak with you for a moment. I would like for you to join my cause. Your might is equal to that of the fearsome Lu Bu. I could use one of your skill and valor. I am not worthy of such praise. But my place is alongside my sworn brother Liu Bei. I am afraid I must decline your generous offer. Liu Bei does not even begin to comprehend the magnitude of your greatness. I care not what others may think. I will serve and support my brother. Forgive me. Cao Cao, don't grow too fond of Guan Yu. He will never agree to serve alongside us. I wouldn't be so quick to give up on him. There is still a possibility that we may be able to use him, even if only for a short while. Master Cao Cao, Yuan Shao will defeat Gong Sun Zun before long. As such, 
It is only a matter of time before he makes his move south. Liu Bei enjoys the service of the mighty Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. We should utilize them to defeat Yuan Shu while we... Indeed, Guoxia. The showdown for Hua Bei draws near, meaning we must quickly subdue the Central Plains in order to prepare for our own confrontation with Yuan Shao. My lord, Yuan Shu has named himself Emperor and is marching north. So, Yuan Shu has made his move. Although facing him will expose us to Yuan Shao, we cannot leave him be. Then you must allow us to join your cause, Master Cao Cao. This is our opportunity to repay the debt we owe you from Sha Pi. Besides, I cannot forgive one who would take the Emperor's name in vain. I think that is a brilliant proposal. Master Cao Cao, we should agree to accept Master Liu Bei's assistance in this matter. Rumor has it that the current ruler of the Sun family, Sun Se, is considering leaving you in Shu's shadow. We should consider working together with him. Very well. Guo Xia and Shun Yu, I shall leave the details to you. We will defeat Yuan Shu once and for all. We shall slay the self-proclaimed Emperor Yuan Shu. All units, forward! Hey, get on in here! Again. Hey, get on in here. Again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. I need... Meet with Master Yuan Shao and reach a peace. Young Hong, handle this. Force 
horses are peasants. Nothing more. None of them can match me. What? This is the end? How did I fail so badly in my duty? Things turned out nicely. Report! Lord Xi Ling has been defeated. Our alliance with Yuan Shao is over. We can't expect any more aid? Then we surely can't expect to win either. Bay and his men. How I loathe them. Sweep them aside. than to flee before the enemy. This time he paid for his contemptible behavior. Jian Ye has fallen. Why did I have to live to see this day? Things turned out nicely. Well done. You report. Lord Yuan Yin has been defeated! Jian Ye has fallen to Sun Tse's forces. Coming with ever greater momentum. Strengthen the defenses in preparation for an invasion. You're finished! How dare you raise your blades against me? I am your emperor. Someone slay these perfidious fools. This is our chance to push the enemy lines back. Follow me! You're a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms! We're going to secure this area! Everybody, forward! We're going to secure this area. Everybody, forward! I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. Yeah! 
I have been defeated. The weapons are about to be stopped. defeated Dong Sun Zan in battle. I have conquered the Central Plains, and now Yuan Shao has control of Hebei. We may have no greater opportunity than the present. It seems the time for our inevitable showdown has finally arrived. Yes. Yuan Shao may outnumber us on paper, but I have faith in the superior talent of my men. We shall return to Xuchang. We must begin making preparations for this final battle. Yuan Shu has been slain. Now we can turn our attention to Yuan Shao. Oh. <coughs> it seems like I don't have much time left. However, I just... Need to hang on for a little bit longer. That cough. I knew it. You're... Hey. What's with the scary look on your face? I'm just a little tired, that's all. Ha! <laughs> I guess you're a little too smart to fall for that line. Master Shunyo. Your supposition is correct. However, I ask that you please keep this between us. My time here is limited. That is why I must see this through to the end. I would appreciate it if you could allow me to realize this one final wish. I understand. If that is your wish, Master Guo Jia. Thank you. I knew that I could count on you. Just as we planned, we'll slip the poison into his drink. Yes, that is the first step. Master Ma Tang and Master Liu Bei are ready to make their move as well. This is our chance to punish this traitor for seeking to bask in the Emperor's glory! I see you have shown your true colors at last, Dong Cheng. Hmm. 
What is the meaning of this commotion? Father, may I have a moment? We have captured somebody who is part of a plot to have you assassinated. What? Dong Cheng? How dare you? Cao Cao, you are a servant of the Emperor, yet you ignore His Highness and act as if you rule the land yourself. You think... Perhaps you think you are the Emperor, or that you will take his place. You must be punished for your boundless arrogance. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. The land may require the Imperial Throne, but the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo have shown that that alone is not enough. Therefore, I must bring a sense of reason to this land. That, combined with the influence of the throne, will save this land. That is the path I choose to follow. I do not expect someone like you to understand. However, I cannot allow you to interfere either. Take him away. Father, it appears that Liu Bei was also involved with Dong Cheng's plot. However, Liu Bei has already fled Xu Chong, and even gone so far as to abandon his lands in Xiao Pei. Hm, he truly is a small man, in both size and ambition. Cao Cao, see how they repay your kindness? If you leave them be, they will surely turn against you again in the future. You must eliminate them now, while we still can. No, we are fine to deal with them later. Liu Bei's only choice is to flee to Yuan Shao. There he will likely be used as a sacrificial pawn in a much larger game. We can deal with him when we face Yuan Shao. Even if he lives, there is nowhere for him to go. He will not be a problem for you any longer, Master Cao Cao. Hmm. Shao Dun, Shun Yu, there is merit to what both of you are saying. Do I chase after Liu Bei, or do I make preparations to face Yuan Shao? I must give the matter some thought. Yuan Shao is using his superior numbers to his advantage. Our defensive lines along the Yellow River have fallen, as have Bai Ma and Ian Jing. That means that Pu Yang has been isolated. I am also hearing word that Sun Se has conquered Jian Dong and is planning to follow up on Yuan Shao's movements by invading Yan province. So, should we withdraw for the time being and look to regroup our forces? No. It will not be easy for Sun Se to invade Yan province. He conquered Jiangdong with alarming speed. As such, he has created many enemies. He will be too focused on his immediate surroundings to make a move now. Hmm. What do you think, Master Shun Yo? Care to share your wisdom on the matter? If we continue to focus on defense, we will never come out ahead in this battle. Therefore, I think we should target the enemy's positions at Bai Ma and Yan Jin. Bai Ma and Yan Jin are defended by Yang Liang and Wen Chao. Although, they are some of Yuan Shao's fiercest officers, their units are woefully undermanned. We should abandon Puyang and leave the bare minimum of troops to defend our main camp. The rest of our forces will strike the enemy and create a path to victory. I have made my decision. Shunyo, we will put our destiny in your hands. Reform the units, and leave a minimal squad to defend the main camp at Guandu. Everybody else, I want you to rendezvous at Bai Ma and Yanjin. We need to secure the front lines and then eliminate Yuan Shao. We can overcome our inferior numbers through intellect and bravery. Hey, get on in here! Come again!
Welcome, Cao Cao weaklings! Beyond the end, Yuan Chao's forces will crush you! We're going to defend this position with our lives, if that's what it takes. To come out alone. This way. Your time's up! Your talents have kept us alive thus far. Impossible! Cao Cao's forces can't be doing this to us! Ah! Abandon Baima! Things turned out nicely. I am truly impressed by your skill. So you come, fools of Xiao Xiao! Only oh, Yajin will be your graveyard! Oh, you're finished! Oh, what are you doing with those weapons? I'm stopping you right here! Archers, draw! Stop them, no matter the cost! No! Report! Paima has been taken by Cao Cao's forces. Yang Yang let them better him? Then we must fight harder for Yan Jin. Tighten our defenses. We'll be fine so long as I survive. We can't hold on any longer. They're breaking through. What did you just say? Very well. I'll take care of this myself. man, Shu Yu, wishes to surrender. He awaits word in Wu Chao. Shu Yu's surrender may change things. We should hurry to Wu Chao. I can ever 
ever thank you. You really did save me. enough to overcome this threat. Pathetic! Finished! Now I can finally return to my mission to strengthen the supply units. Things turned out nicely. I foresaw greatness in you from the very beginning. Oh, <laughs> 